yeah so good morning students uh, today we are going to see the tin smithy work so what is uh, in the previous class we discussed the uh, fitting works fitting works are performed on plates so tin smithy works are performed on sheet metal so the work which is performed on the sheet metal is called a tin smithy the operations which are performed on the, the work which is performed on the plates called as fitting so in this uh, tin smithy work i already told you difference between plate and sheet metal if the thickness of uh, plate is more than 3 mm that is called as plate if the thickness is less than 3 mm we call that one as sheet metal with the sheet metal we can do different types of uh, uh, product see this man uh, in that uh, slide this fellow is doing uh, bottom of a bucket so bottom is prepared for the bucket using the sheet metal okay now let us see inside we go to this chapter so the products made through the sheet metal crossing including an automobile bodies and tiles and uh, almaras cabinets appliances electronic components electrical parts aerospace parts refrigeration and air conditioning parts etc are made with the tin smithy so based on the thickness of that one so the sheets which are having less than 3 mm called as sheet metal in our regular life in many applications we are using the we are seeing the we are coming across this uh, application of these sheet metals so the products made from a flat sheet of metal the process being known as tin smithy just before i told you so here the sheet metal generally considered to be a plate with thickness less than 5 mm see in some test books it was written as 5 mm in some test books it was written as 3 mm so old test books it was 3 mm so based on the uh, ratio and the other calculations some people treating this one as 5 mm so 5 mm seems to be very thick so if the metal is hard steel if you use that is difficult to carry out this tin smithy works on that one so no way we again uh, okay as per test book as per new test books it was written as 5 mm it is 3 mm okay sheet metal parts offer many advantages first one is lightweight and versatile and uh, that is lightweight and uh, versatile shapes compared to the casting and forging so different types of shapes can be made easily these things which cannot be made by casting and the forging process so these are the see this one the following are generally used as sheet metal these are the sheet metals and this is block iron sheet this is galvanized iron sheet this you are going to see in the workshop in the workshop you have the gi galvanized iron these are the stainless steels which cannot uh, that is in the houses we are using uh some decorative works in the construction and even uh, stainless uh, sheets that uh, water glasses drinking glasses the, that is uh, dinner plates made with steel are made with the stainless steel sheets that we are going to see in the third next to block iron sheet it is proper it is the probably the cheapest of all the metals used for the sheet metal work it is in bluish black color it appears in the bluish black and is generally uh, used in the form of uncoated sheet see this one this is primary see if it is coated with zinc you will get the galvanized iron if it is mixed with nickel you will get the stainless steel so that is the uh, base metal uncoated it is generally used in making of roofs top roofs food containers stove pipes furnace fittings and uh, dairy equipment tanks cans and uh, pans these are application of block iron sheet next galvanized iron it is a soft steel coated with molten zinc this coating resists uh, resist the uh, rust formation on the surface and improve the appearance and water resistance it, these gi sheets are used in making of pans furnaces buckets cabinets and etc uh, see <clears throat> in the workshop also you are going to see the galvanized iron next one is stainless steel it is a uh, one kind uh, this is uh, it is uh, an alloy of steel 
and it is mixed with coated with nickel chromium and uh, uh, small amounts of other alloying elements so it can it to be that is uh, its uh, corrosion resistance can be improved it appears uh, good it gives shine and uh, appearance is also good when it is exposed to atmosphere it cannot be affected anything because of uh, addition of nickel when the chromium is added its hardness will be increased it has good corrosion resistance it is costlier but together than gi sheets okay it is used in making of kitchen ware food processing equipment food uh, food handling articles tools and instruments for surgery operations uh, surgery work in hospitals and components of chemical plants why this stainless steel used in those application so in the hotel cfc all the plates are made with even uh, to breakfast tiffin plates lunch plates dinner plates glasses and uh, tea glasses uh, water uh, jugs all the things are made with the stainless steel because they have good corrosion resistance not only that one in old days uh, instruments which are used in the surgery also used with these uh, stainless steels so even in our houses also we are using the uh, these kind of stainless steels so nowadays in the chemical and the surgery application soap alloys uh, came they are replacing the stainless steel because so still the stainless steels are used in medical applications uh, if you see that in surgery they use the stainless uh, steel uh, knives and uh, scissors also next uh, what are the uh, these are the uh sheet what are the tools used in the tin smithy the following tools are commonly used for sheet metal work they are uh, hand shears hand shears or knives hammers stakes and stake holder cutting tools measuring tools miscellaneous hand tools such as sizzles grooves seamers rivet sets and hand punches all the things you know so somewhere else uh, you might have seen these things okay by seeing these figures you can identify that oh, we have already used or we saw these things in some applications so first let us see the hand shears or snips see these are the just like scissors used to cut shearing means cutting the sheet metal they resemble with pair of scissors pair of scissors and are used like them to cut the thin soft metal sheets of oh, 20 gauge or thinner so sheet metals generally uh, we call instead of thickness in old style they measure gauges so 20 gauge 25 gauge if we go to the uh, in the workshops in the uh, outside that is in the workshops where the almaras made so if you say the 2 mm thickness sheet almara they cannot understand you have to say 20 gauge 18 18 gauge or 25 gauge so like that they are required to size and shape the sheets okay these uh, uh, scissors are used to cut the sheet metal into required shape and size okay these are the hammer series one smoothing hammer stressing hammer creasing hammer hollowing hammer this is a riveting to riveting hammer this one is a planishing hammer so all the hammers are having the handle this one is also having handle is not shown here these two are having handles okay right these are the hammers next one see these are the stakes these are the, it is a sort of anvil this is one kind of anvil say to carry out the work on the sheet metal first if you see this one funnel stake so b uh, this is uh, uh, rigidly held vertically like that the sheet metal is placed over that one and with the help of hammers they can bend into required shape say this is a sort of and supporting so we support the sheet for sheet metal work say as i told before you held vertically on that one sheet is placed and with the required uh, cutting we can make it consists of a shank this is called a shank and a head or horn what is the purpose of shank shank is used to hold this one so this is shank this is one shank here this is shank this is shank this one is head here this is head this is head so these are the a is big horn stake this is funnel stake 
this one is half moon shake this is a round bottom stake so these are the stakes uh, which are used to uh, support the work support the sheet metal while the work is going on so to carry out the work we are taking these things to support the sheet metal over these stakes next one is stake holder see these are the stakes i told you shank all the, this is top is head bottom one is called as shank so i just here i told you this is held vertical how to held this one vertically see this one stake holder where you have different holes at suitable hole this uh, uh, shank is held and over this one that uh, sheet metal is placed and we carry out the work see this one stake holder is a rectangular cast iron plate and that is uh, uh, conveniently uh, arranged tapered hole tapered hole means uh, the size of hole is reduced when going down uh, so that various stacks may fit in and may be used in different positions for tackling the sheet metals of a particular work see this one all these things are having tapper projection see this is one this is called as shank tapper shape this one also tapper shape see this one also tapper shape tapper this is round tapper this is also round tapper this is square tapper this is square tapper so accordingly this holder is having the uh, tapper holes for the square uh, tapper and the round tapper with the different sizes so these uh, holes may be straight and inclined also as per application we can place that uh, stake vertically or inclined accordingly holes are made on that uh, stack holder next one cutting tools similarly files these are flat square round triangle knife pillar needle and uh, mill types already we saw in that uh, uh, fitting one that kind of files we use again here sisal okay in wood cutting this type of uh, sisal we same thing used here the flat sisal and round nose sisal are most commonly used in the sheet metal work so don't worry all the tools you are going to see in the workshop okay next one is uh, scrapers these are flat hook triangular half round type hacksaws hacksa used in the to previous work also we have seen the hacksa hacksa used in sheet metal shop also maybe hand hacksa or power hacksa for the cutting even the fitting works also you saw the hacksas next one is measuring tools uh, folding rule circumference rule steel rule vernier calipers micrometer thickness scales so folding rule so folding rule that is the length of that one is more uh, rule that is in the uh, tailor shops also you will see the folding rules so circumference rule to measure the circumference of that one and next one is steel rule already we know vernier calipers we know and measurement micrometer is also you know and the thickness gauge so measuring of uh, thickness i told you less than 3 mm we are calling that one is sheet metal how to measure its thickness so for that one also have the gauges that we see in the workshop so miscellaneous hand tools if you say steel square straight edges divider scriber uh, this is the trammel point soldering iron files so all these things um, some of things you might have seen however you are going to see in that uh, uh, uh in the workshop we are going to show all these things in this uh, tin smithy work also you are going to carry out uh, perform some jobs like uh, making of funnel funnel and uh, making of some tray and uh, corner joints all the thing that is uh, two to three or uh, three maximum of three jobs we will uh, ask you to carry out first we give the demonstration with these tools after that you will cut uh, sheet metal into required shape and required uh, components you will make okay thank you